everyone, Llewellyn here today with Born to Whimsy, and I am going live on the Redesign with Prima page. And today I'm going to be putting um, a transfer on the sides of this, the drawers for this buffet that I'm working on here. So I hand paint my pieces. So this one's a painting, but um, on the sides I wanted to add a transfer just to give the drawers on the inside a little bit. I can see some people hopping on, so we are live. Um, my name is Llewellyn, and I am the owner and artist at Warren to Whimsy. And today, um, yeah, we're gonna use the Coastal Sea Life Transfer. So here it is right here. I'm sorry that's backwards. My, my phone won't flip around. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that I can see comments. Looks like, so when you hop on, go ahead and say hi. Uh, tell me where you're watching from and Go ahead and comment so I can make sure that I can see those. If not, I have my husband Nick is gonna help me out. He'll stick around and he'll read those to me. Do you see anything popping up yet, hon? Um, no, I'm still trying to share it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of get started. Um, I'm also gonna be doing some hardware. I think I might actually start with that. Mm -hmm. For this, I just used the original hardware and then I spray painted it black. And we're outside, so if you hear some background noise, that's that's gonna be what it is. And where did I put my black hardware? Do you see anything there? I have one of them. So I went ahead and I sprayed some of my hardware for this piece. I spray painted it black, and today I'm gonna add some decor wax to it and just kind of dry brush it over the top, and it really just brings out the details. So I wanted to show you guys how I did that. Um, and this one is Shiny Star Decor Wax with Redesign from Redesign. Um, and it is not again, giving me the option to copy link for some reason. That's backwards. Let me talk. Sorry. <laughs> he keeps talking over the top Sorry. of me. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, it is pretty hot here. We've got, I mean, actually, it's not, not compared to the rest of the U.S., I don't think, but we've got 80 degree weather going on, which is hot for right now, so we're doing good. Um, so here's my hardware, and I'm gonna aim this camera down a little bit, or maybe I'll just hold it up. And then I have this, is the decor wax. So for this, it dries permanent, and it comes in these little tubs, and I'm just gonna be um, adding it with a little brush. You don't really have to have anything in specific. Redesign does carry like a wax, they carry a nice wax brush, but for these little details, I wanted something a little bit smaller. So let me aim it down a little bit so we can see. So all I'm gonna be doing is, yeah, it does smell good. I'm just gonna wipe the wax just a little bit. You can see I already did some before onto this brush. And if your wax dries out, um, Roz, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking it's mineral spirits. It's an oil-based one, so you can go ahead and just mix a little bit in and it will re-wet it. And then, so here is my hardware. And all I did before on the hardware that's already on there is just really quickly, you can see, you just dry brush it almost, kind of like you were using a paint, but you're using your wax and that just brings out the details really beautifully. Uh, I wanted them to be to stand out on this piece and they were just kind of blending in before when they were just black especially with that painting that I have going on back there so I, I just really quick rub it all along are there any comments honey because I can't see anything over uh, here Leo says hey hey and Hello. Uh, Roz, Roz is here she says hey girl okay awesome so yeah that's how I'm doing my hardware for this piece I don't have it all the way on there yet because I haven't sealed my piece. Um, these are just kind of, they're just kind of sitting in there. Once I get it sealed, I'll attach them all. And so it's a really simple way that I wanted to go over just to update your hardware. And that is if you're using the originals and you can't find, I didn't find anything really that I wanted to change for the hardware on this piece. Okay, I'm going to aim it back up here. So now we're moving on and that's what I did to these. These aren't all the way in yet either just because um, I'm not done with the painting. Actually after this live I have another one on my page and I will be finishing up the painting too. So get all those, get everything done right in a row. 
So the sides of the drawers is where I'm gonna be adding my transfer today. I'm just gonna pull it out here. And then I'll re-aim this um, just to make sure that you can see and to get everything set up. Kind of zoom you guys in a little bit. There we go. Now you can see. And the transfer that I'm using is Coastal Sea Life. It's a redesign with Prima One. And let me just show it to you. So they all come in these transfer tubes. If you're kind of new, um, they come in these transfer tubes. And in the tube, it comes with a stick. So this is the applicator stick. This comes in the tube. And that's what I'm gonna be using to put this transfer on today. We usually just stick with that tool. Uh, we do carry another tool that you can use. It's like a wider one to put them on. But I usually just, um, I prefer, everybody has their own method and I prefer the stick. You know, I'm not sure the comments are working because I don't know, I'm not seeing anything else. Okay. That's all right. Now, now I see Roz's comment show up, so. Okay, so this is the Coastal Sea. Can you go ahead and shut this door, honey, so that the dryer can sound? Coastal Sea Life. And you can see why I wanted to add it to this dresser. I obviously have like a black and white theme going on over here, so. Hello from Florida. Hi, thank you for joining us today. I'm seeing some comments. Oh yeah slowly coming up so that's good get, go. Perfect. get my scissors out so all you need is a pair of scissors for this transfer you're gonna have to cut it apart unless of course you want to put it on just like this but I'm gonna cut mine apart and just kind of do a little underwater sea life on the side let me pick one. And this particular transfer, it came with three sheets. So, hi from Ireland. Thank you for joining me today. It must be must be kind of late there, getting later in the evening or late afternoon. Okay, so I think... Probably midnight there. I don't think so yet. Well, maybe. She, maybe she can tell us. Deborah can tell us. <laughs> so I've got... I'm going to use this coral. I like the way this one looks. Janet from Minnesota. Hi, Janet. Thanks for popping on today. Let's see. And I like this big one, so I'm going to cut out one of these. Get my, other, get my other transfers out of the way. There we go. It's 1109, babe. Ah, he, was, he was right. <laughs> I don't usually say that out loud. He was he was right this time. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I'm thinking this this big one right here. I like this tall one. In Slovakia. That's awesome. Slovakia, wow. Everybody from everywhere tonight joining me. Well, welcome to the redesign page. Glad you guys could come on. <laughs> I always do, Deborah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's. <laughs> it's one of his favorite things to tell me. So. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm just going through and picking out a couple. And once you have a few cut out, um, you can start to just place them. I'm going to grab a starfish. I like starfish. And let's see. I don't think I want any fish this time. Maybe this little grassy piece will fit in somewhere. Margo Joy says beautiful piece. Thank you so much. Um, the paint job, I actually took some in inspiration from Brandy, Brush by Brandy. She's another brand ambassador. And she's a Dixie Belle lady, but like she did a recent one and I showed it to my customer because I was like, here's your black and white. So, um, yeah, I took some inspiration from her for sure on one of her pieces. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to take the transfer and sort of set it up where I want it to go. These smaller ones, I think it's pretty easy to find placement just because, you know, they're, they're little and you can have fun with it. My comments stopped showing again. There we go. Okay, and then for the transfers, they come on a wax paper backing. So basically the transfer is on the plastic on the front and you apply it um, sort of backwards, I guess you could say. You just take the plastic off. So you peel off the backing and you can see it's attached right to the plastic there. And then you just put it wherever you want it to go. Kind of like a water tattoo. Yeah. And then um, I'm just using the stick that came in the tube with it. Make sure y'all can see. And you just rub it on. Now all I did to prep the sides of this was I cleaned them very well. I got a little paint on them too. It's part of the prep. <laughs> um, I cleaned them very well with um, a, a cleaner and then I made sure that it was well rinsed off so I didn't have any of it left. So what you're seeing on here, this is just a regular clear coat that was on the piece originally. And see, you can tell when it starts, it will start to sort of bubble up a little bit. So you can tell when your transfer is sticking. And I figured it would stick pretty well to this clear coat on here. Um, this piece hadn't been oiled or anything in a really long time. So I wasn't too worried about my prep work. And you could tell this piece had been left, left alone for a long time. But if you did have some sort of an oil or anything on your wood, you would want to make sure that you would get that off. So now I'm just going to slowly, I start peeling it back. Now, if you see a piece of your transfer sort of lifting, you can just put your plastic back down and rub over it. It's going onto this piece fairly easily, not having any issues here. So like right here, um, I've got a little bit of haloing. You guys can probably see that. Let me see if I can bring you in even closer. Aim this phone. My, my little thing will only aim down so far. There we go, that's a little bit closer. So you can see I have a little bit of white haloing around the edge. So I'll just flip this back down and you can either do it the way I'm doing it right now or you can just rub it lightly with your fingers and all of that just disappeared. Like you can hardly even see, you can't see between where the transfer begins and the wood ends, which is just how I wanted it. So I think the hardest thing about transfers for me is just having the patience to like sit there and rub at it till it really sticks. <laughs> and to line them all up perfectly. And there we go. We have some pretty coral on there. So I'm gonna add just a few more to the side here. And I just kind of want them going along the bottom. And you guys, if you have any questions, please just let me know in the comments. Go ahead and say hello if you're just coming on. I'm going to add another larger coral on this side. And this was just to add some fun um, to the sides of the drawers. Like you can see the front of this piece, this piece is fun. So we've already got the mermaid and everything. Were you able to share it, honey? Uh, yes. Okay. What will you seal it with? Deborah asks. Um, I will be sealing with a water-based clear coat. So I'll probably, uh, I'll probably use a polycrylic. That's what I have on hand. So like a polycrylic, like the Minwax one you can buy. I think it's Minwax. Yeah, it is. The Minwax one that you can get at the hardware store. Whoop. You can see my transfer's already sticking. So when that plastic, when it lifts like that, you know you're good. And some people like to get like a bubble. If I'm doing a larger one, I, 
I, you can get like a bubble running along it and it'll lift as you push the transfer on and it'll kind of show you as it's going along. But these are smaller, so um, I don't usually wait around for the bubble because it's harder to get one on a small piece. We just want to make sure we got all our edges on there. And then just gently lift your plastic away. Uh, you can kind of feel it. If you're pulling and suddenly it doesn't want to lift away, then you know that um, it's probably not stuck to the wood or the paint that you've got underneath. And I can see I've got quite a big bubble underneath right here, so I'm just going to hold my plastic back down and go back over it. There we go, and some more sea life. And this piece is going to a beach house anyway, so this is perfect. Okay. I'm going to stick a few more of these on here. Another fun thing you could do with this transfer, um, because it's black and white, would be to put it over or paint it as you go along. Because it's all like corals and little fish and stuff, you could and little seaweeds, you could paint it. I know, um, I'm sure Roz has painted them before. And Carolyn Muncie, she's done a few recently that she painted, so. Amy says, hi, Llewellyn. Hi, Amy, how are you doing? Amy and I are, uh, we're doing a painting together, so we're gonna be live on Friday on our page, or on her page doing um, a paint-along painting. It's been really fun working with her on that. So I'm excited for Friday, Amy. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi. Okay. Still rubbing. I can see I didn't quite get it in some of the corners, so I just let it go back down and rub it really well. I'll even use my fingernail, one of the best tools. There we go. Sometimes if you can just get that little edge down, then you're good to pull it back. He says, love this piece you're doing, stunning. Oh, thank you. This one has been fun. Um, my customer, she was kind of surprised by, I surprised her with the painting on the front, so it was, it was fun to show her. She came to get some other pieces and I got to show her the painting and yes, it was, it's a fun piece. I like this one a lot. And it's the last one I'm working on with her right now. So I've done a few pieces with her and this is the last one for right now. So it's, I wanted to add something meaningful to it, you know? Okay. Adding in these little grass pieces. <clears throat> And it's basically the same thing, just setting it on there wherever you want to place it and rubbing it on. Whoops, I kind of wrinkled it a little bit there, but that's okay. And then pull it back and it looks good. And um, you can use a burnishing pad to rub it on there better or like anything that's sort of like a foam, or you can even use a really fine sandpaper to burnish it. And that's basically just getting the air out from under the transfer. So you're making sure that it's sticking really well. So it would almost be kind of what I'm doing with my hands right now would be burnishing. I'm gonna find one more little piece of seaweed to stick on here, maybe something a bit taller. says complimenty. I would assume it's compliments. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Thanks for hopping on here. Okay. And I'm going to put one more little piece on here. There we 
go. Just kind of line it up before you put it down. Because once you put it down, and if you've rubbed it at all, you can't bring them back up because they do stick pretty easily to the piece. Where did my little rubbing stick go? There we go. And just rub this little seaweed piece on pretty well there. This is going pretty quickly though. It's really, it's sticking well to this wood. Maybe a bit better. So different type of woods react? differently to it? Well, it just kind of depends on what was on your wood before. Like, like I said before, if there were any oils on it, you know, someone went along and has been using an oil to kind of like shine up and make their wood pretty, that can affect how your transfer goes on. So you just want to make sure that it's got a really clean surface to put it on there with. So and if it's a go. raw wood, would it stick a lot quicker? Um, like non-treated? I haven't tried it on a wood with that hasn't been sealed at all. Maybe, I don't know if Roz has. Roz, are you still there? I don't know if she's still there, but she's done a lot of them. I might add one more little tiny one over here because it's cute and it's sitting on the ground over there. Thank you, Amy. Oh, thanks, Amy. Yeah, I'll be hopping on my page live right after this, actually. I go live every... Wednesday at 4 p.m. and I'm going to be finishing the painting that's on the front of this piece. So we're going to work on this on this mermaid and her ship mostly um, some of the water and the waves that are further away. So I like to do a lot of paintings on my pieces. I think it's really fun. And for me, therapeutic, really, <laughs> all of this is because you just the the transfers are fun too. They just add that little extra without having to uh, take the time to hand paint everything. See how I got this done, and how long has it been? Let's see. Well, it's been like what, twenty minutes? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes it took me to get this little tiny drawer side set up. If I had to paint that, it would be it would be a while because <laughs> it's so detailed. Okay, so I've got this drawer side done, and maybe we'll go for the bottom one since I've only been on here for 20, 25 minutes. And there is looking all pretty. Um, so when you pull the drawer out, let me get this back in here, and I can show you guys. I want to be kind of careful with it right now because I haven't sealed it yet. And as I said before, I'll just be sealing with a water-based polycrylic. If your transfer is on there really well, you shouldn't have any issues with that. I've never had any issues with it. Um, bubbling up or anything so there it is and when you slide your drawer out that's gonna have just as much you know wow factor now hopefully or nearly as much as the front so yeah that was fun and it's going on really nicely there we go and now you can see why I picked now you can see why I picked that for this piece I'm just gonna open these to pull the bottom drawer out I don't have my hardware in there yet. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get this in place for you. And I think we'll go ahead and do a second quick drawer side. I love the way the hardware turned. Yeah, the hardware looks really, really good. If you guys were on here before, um, I, I know some of you probably weren't. Thank you, Sherry. That's very sweet of you. If you guys were on here before, I did this little hardware just to go with it. And I just used the Redesign Wax, and this is Shiny Star. So it's this silvery bright color. You can see mine's getting, I'm getting low. But I've used, already used about half of it. But I think I've used it on about four or five, maybe four things so far. So... You know, especially when you're using it for small stuff like the hardware, one of those little tubs goes quite a ways. Okay, so we're going to work on this. And again, all I did was I cleaned them well. This one's a bit dusty over here just from sliding in and out. I cleaned them well and then um, made sure that all the cleaner was off. That was before I started painting. And got some paint on there, but that's okay. Great to say it looks amazing already. 
Thank you so much, Rachel. Thanks for joining me today. And I'm going to keep going. Let me just cut a few more of these off. And this one is the, what did I call it? Coastal Sea Life. So it's this transfer. I'm at an odd angle here. And it just comes in, there's three sheets and they are the longer sheets and they're just full, full of all of these corals and stuff. So I'm gonna cut a few of these corals out. That's all you have to do is go in with just your basic scissors, cut your little pieces out, whichever ones you want. Or you don't want, if you don't want it on there, then just cut it off because it will stick once you lay it flat. So I'm gonna cut out like four or five and then place them kind of where I want them to go and then just rub them on. And today I'll be using, to apply it, I just use the little wooden stick that comes in the tube. And that is totally personal preference when it comes to that because I know there's a few things that you can use that Redesign offers. So for these smaller ones though, the little stick, the wooden stick makes sense, you know, because it's a bit smaller than um, maybe the larger applicators. Oh, I forgot my starfish on the other side. I, had a star I have a starfish I'm going to put on there too. Did I forget it? I did forget it. Let's see, we'll put one on this side. And as you can see, like, I'm only using, what? Nick's giggling, I can hear him. <laughs> Stephanie says, late to the show is the ship and the mermaid on the transfer. So no, I want I'm like sorry. <laughs> that's so sweet of you though. That's, that one I'm working on, that's a painting I'm working on on the front of this piece. But I wanted to add some cool stuff to the sides of the drawers. So I'm adding some, the coral is what I'm adding today. I do kind of like to mix in my transfers and my paintings sometimes. That's really fun. Makes for something different. And then the transfers are just, just that easy way, as I said before, if you're just coming on, but they're an easy way to just make things give things that little extra for sure. Especially if you're doing a big one on the whole front of a piece. There we go. Okay, same as the other top drawer, I'm gonna do a similar configuration, I think. And you can even go in and like um, really map it all out because it's a <clears throat> drawer side. I'm not super worried about it. I mean, I want it to look good, you know, but. You've got wiggle room with the drawer sides? Yeah, I just get to have fun with the drawer sides. I think that looks good. And you can see with this transfer, I have, um, I've only used one piece, one of these big long strips that it comes on, and I have so much left. This transfer could be used, I mean, you could get five projects out of it pretty easily. Because if you see, I have a ton left. I'll probably for both all two drawers on both sides. I'll probably only be using one of the three. They come in these three long sheets like this. So I'll probably be using only one of these three long sheets for um, all four sides, two drawer sides. Okay, let's continue on. Better get this on here. So I peel the backing off and then you take your little transfer stick and just rub away. There we go. Make sure it gets on there. I think those edges are like the most, once you get that edge on there and make sure that edge is nice and down, it gets easier. And, um, yeah, the hardest for, part for me, as I said before, is patience. Just moving slow. You can't move fast with a transfer. Rubbing very well as you go along and then slowly peeling it back. 
And just making sure all those edges are on there as you peel it back. And if it's not all the way on, lay your paper or your plastic back down and continue rubbing it on there. If you want to get rid of the halo, what if you took like a some soft cloth and go over it? Would that work or would it scratch it off, kind of bunch it up and No, yeah, you could use a soft cloth. That's like what I was talking about with burnishing. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Patience. Got to remind myself. <laughs> At least you got it. <laughs> At least I have patience? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> it comes with motherhood. <laughs> I guess. Here we go. And so, I mean, I'm kind of burnishing it with my hand, and that's probably because I always forget. Yes, as Nick said before, you can use a clean cloth. My hand is nice and dry and clean, so I'm not too worried about using it. There we go. And um, they actually go on wood really, really nice. I don't notice much of a halo at all to worry about, so... Moving on to our second little coral, and you can go one transfer over the other. You just have to make sure that they stick really well when you're doing it. So I'm going to overlap this coral over this one just the tiniest bit. And as long as my previous transfer has adhered well and is sticking to the wood, um, I shouldn't have any transfer problem going right over the top so you can totally overlap transfers if you're doing flowers and you're you know making a sort of a custom bouquet style thing on your piece you can absolutely overlap them okay that didn't stick on the edge so then it all popped up there we go we're gonna get it on there <laughs> There might have been something on my drawer down there that I missed. Let me try it from the top. There we go. And I'm hoping you guys can still see this. It looks like it. I'm just slowly moving it down and putting my plastic back down to rub it if I haven't quite gotten it. I'm going to make sure I get all these little tiny edges on. There we go. Go back and rub it lightly, and it's all on there. If one edge is not stuck and you start peeling it, would it peel the rest? Um, you, you know what I'm trying to say? Sometimes, no, not usually. Sometimes it'll just rip a little bit, so you want to make sure okay, you so get it'll all those. just break off and stuff. Yeah, you just want to okay. get all those little tiny pieces on. or it'll just pull straight back up and you have to start over. But it's no big deal if part of it tears, you just put your plastic back down and you keep rubbing. Hi, honey. You can come ask dad. I've got kids questioning. Kids have questions, that's okay. She had some popcorn. That's okay. You guys already had lunch. Sorry, guys. The kids always <laughs> popping in. Not that I should really be apologizing for it. 
They move here. Okay. You can have some of that. Just a little bit though. All right, you guys. We're almost finished with this second drawer here. And I still gotta get my starfish in there somewhere. Where should I put my starfish? I'm gonna do this one on the side because it's a little bit taller. I feel like they should have like bigger ones. Bigger what? Like bigger starfish or like, I don't know. Yeah, they might on another transfer. Like a seashell. They have a seahorse transfer that's like a blue background. I can't remember, it's in the craft room. I can't remember what else it has on it, but that's a pretty one. I wanna use that one too. So I sell a lot of stuff in or I, I started out selling a lot um, in a beach shop. So I do a lot of coastal. A lot of my customers are wanting coastal theme pieces. Which makes it easy with redesign. They carry quite a few coastal theme transfers. It does. How long have I been? I've been on here for a while. 40 minutes. All right, we're gonna finish this up. I'm gonna wrap it up. Two more little pieces on here. Just rub it on and peel it off and make sure you burnish it so nothing is sticking up. And here goes my little starfish. I got to use him. I'm going to put him right here. He's standing up today. Oops. Don't want to do that. Part of the transfer already stuck down, though. This is yeah, sticking really well today. I wonder if the outside temperature has to do something with it. I know. It's, it's hotter here than normal. Usually we have humidity issues, so... And I apologize, anybody, if you guys are commenting and I don't see it, um, I'll be going back through and answering everything. So if you guys uh -huh. have any questions, just post them. Am I frozen? No, Linda says uh, you must have blocked me. I can't comment. No, you're not blocked, Linda. Oh, no. Because I can see your comment. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, whose piece this is? Yes. Okay. Linda, we're working on yours. I'm getting it all finished up. All right. Here goes my last little starfish. And that's so that's the sides of the drawers. And I think that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm going to stick this one back in here. drawer blade and you can kind of see I don't have my knobs in yet but now you can kind of see how you're gonna get the transfer oh if she's not following redesign with Prima she won't be able to comment I think she's a part of the group that does make sense well, though I can the comments Sherry. on under your oh, page. On my page so that's probably why that she's probably not, she's not part of the mm -hmm. um, redesign group. Okay. And that's where I'm live today. So yeah, that's how I, that's what I did today. <laughs> adding these little, little peekaboo transfers on the drawers, which I think is an amazing idea for them. Um, let me come back on and get my face in here again. And it's getting hotter out. So I'm getting, getting red out here, rubbing those transfers on there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today. Again, my name is Llewellyn. 
Um, and I'm going to be live in, um, what, 15 minutes here on my own page. I'm just going to be finishing up this uh, painting that I've been working on right here. So come on over there if you want to catch that. And thanks again for hopping on the redesign page and watching with me. I hope you all have a great week and I'll be live again in two weeks. If you guys go up under, I think it's events, um, all of us brand ambassadors for redesign, we put our lives on the page in the events and then you can put interested so that you get a notification and it pops up whenever we're going live. So y'all have a good couple of weeks and I will see you in two weeks. Bye.